Today, colleagues across University Hospitals Dorset are joining in with the National Day of Reflection on the anniversary of the first lockdown. This has been a very challenging year for us all. Over the past 12 months across our hospitals, we've treated over 3,000 patients who've tested positive for COVID-19. Today is a chance for all of us to reflect on each of these patients, to remember all those who recovered, to think about those who are still suffering the long-term consequences of COVID, and to remember in our hearts all those who have sadly died. We must never underestimate the impact that COVID has had on families across the country. Today, staff across our hospitals are tying ribbons on trees to remember all these patients and the sacrifices made by those who cared for them. We've all been impacted in one way or another by COVID-19, and I hope that this opportunity to pause and reflect will help us all in moving forwards. As Chief Executive of University Hospitals Dorset, I know what a toll this has taken on my colleagues, and I couldn't be prouder of all my staff. Every single one of them has played a part in maintaining essential services throughout this pandemic, and with all teams supporting each other to keep going under hugely difficult circumstances. This includes all our staff, our doctors and nurses, our midwives, our healthcare scientists, our estates teams, ward clerks, admin staff, our porters, our allied health professionals, our managers, housekeepers, caterers, our HR, finance, information and IT colleagues, our procurement and logistics teams. Each and every member of staff has played their part so that our hospitals could rise to this challenge and provide the best possible care for our patients. And of course, our hospitals couldn't do this alone. We've really appreciated the support of our partners across the Dorset system, our local GPs and primary care colleagues, the Dorset Clinical Commissioning Group, those working in the community for Dorset Healthcare, our acute colleagues in Dorset County Hospital, and those working within our councils, in particular BCP Council and the Dorset Council, and all those in care homes and the care sector. I also want to thank local people and members of the public for all their support throughout this difficult period. From staying at home to help protect our services, to clapping on your doorsteps, to providing gifts for our frontline workers, I and all my colleagues could not be more grateful. We really appreciate all your support throughout the year, at a time when you too have been having to make sacrifices. As we look ahead, in light of the fantastic rollout of the vaccine programme and the way in which infection rates are dropping, we can begin to feel positive and hopeful. Within our hospitals, our thoughts are now turning to recovery, and we know that there's much to be done to get our services back to normal. We know there are now large numbers of patients waiting for treatment, and every single one of you really matters. We want to thank you for your patience at this time and to assure you that our staff will be doing everything they can to get you treated as swiftly as possible. This last year has been dreadful, with families kept apart, children kept at home, and sadly many people having lost their lives. But when I look back, I'm also reminded of all the good that's come out of this sadness, how our communities have pulled together and how we all learn to appreciate the things that are really important to us, for example, meeting up with families and friends, enjoying the beautiful countryside and being able to travel around without restriction. I hope that when we are able to do everything again, we won't take things for granted. We must never forget the sacrifices of the past year and must continue to cherish every freedom as we start to rebuild our lives.